We want to go now to the Berkeley Hills where ABC 7 News reporter Leslie Brinkley spent the day with firefighters who are on high alert for dry lightning. Yeah, this even as they're conducting fire training exercises, I guess it's good timing. Of course, great timing and uh, they're, they're, like they said, always on alert, but uh, throughout, we're, we're kicking off fire season throughout the summer. They've got to be prepared. We're up here by Berkeley Fire Station number seven off of Grizzly Peak. We had an unusual experience where it rained on us about an hour ago. So dry lightning did not prove to be a problem here thus far, but it certainly did over in the Central Valley. Fresno County Fire reported more than 1,000 lightning strikes in a matter of hours Monday night. Five fires ignited, burning hundreds of acres. Flames threatened the community of Palermo close to Oroville Monday night, burning one square mile and prompting evacuations. It was dubbed the Apache Fire and tore through two structures, injuring a firefighter. We're on alert 24 hours. We, do, we don't stop. Uh, dry lightning can cause fires to spread extremely fast, uh, especially if you have weather conditions that's going to support that. Up in the Berkeley Hills, multi-agency training is underway this week, given the early start to fire season. The Berkeley Fire Department is working closely with the El Cerrito and Kensington Fire Department, as well as the Albany Fire Department, to uh, coordinate a drill, a multi-agency drill, for a wildland response. We don't want any gaps in our response that may have happened in the 91 tunnel fire where there were some hydrants that were different threads and fire agencies had a hard time talking with each other. We've, we've covered all of that. We've closed all those gaps. The agencies are familiarizing each other with neighborhoods in the hills, coordinating the use of low pressure hydrants and different equipment from each department. So there's a better, faster response if an urban wildfire erupted in these densely populated hills. We're constantly trying to collaborate with our neighboring fire departments so that if we do have a major incident, we can develop a quick incident action plan. As for the dry lightning potential? It is something that scares us, but we do have a response model ready for it. I was told all these fire chiefs from the different agencies hop on a conference call every Monday morning and discuss what they're going to train for, what they're uh, on alert for. Uh, last month, the agencies together worked on high-rise fires. This month, the focus is all on wildland fires, and it's a good thing they're ready to go as we kick off an early fire season. In the East Bay Hills, I'm Leslie Brinkley, ABC 7 News. Leslie, thank you.